Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Renata Steen and my co-host. Your boy Al Cameron here with another debate. Now, with all this talk of Rating Area 51 and all these videos of SpaceX trying to launch rockets to Mars, if the government told you that the Earth was ending, would you leave on a ship? Of course not. Listen guys, do not trust the government. The reason why we want to raid Area 51 is because they lie on a consistent basis. We want to try to find the truth. So if the, world, if the government told me the world is ending, probably the world's not ending. They're probably lying to you. That's one thing. Secondly, if the world was ending and they have, we have ships for all you guys to leave, I think that's a setup. There's something wrong with them. Either there's something wrong with the ships, you're going to blow up in the atmosphere, or they're sitting to some wasteland of a planet that you can't survive on, or they're just going to destroy you and kill you and use you as food. So, do not take the bait. Do not take the bait. It's not where it's at. They did something up. Now, here's my thing. I would get suspicious if they immediately started looking out for minorities. If they say, yeah, we gotta make sure we get all the black people on first, that would scare me. You know what I'm mean? saying? If you say you gotta get all the Hispanics and the blacks on the <laughs> ships, I would've been like, oh, nah, y'all boys. <laughs> I, I give you that, but here's the reason why I'm suspicious either way, because of this. We're talking about government that sold medicine that had HIV in it. We're talking about governments that have done the Tuskegee Project. We're talking about governments that they don't care who they're, they're, they're hurting. They don't care who they're um, messing with, as long as it's not them. So to me, yes, I think they would tell the minorities and the blacks and all that stuff to come first, but don't, don't get it twisted. The whites can get it too. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I, don't, I, I'm gonna say this. I, I'm, I wouldn't get on the ship personally nah. because I been believe that we have like technology to get to other planets. I think that they just kind of hold on to it yeah. and hide it. So the whole rating area 51 is because, well, Bob Lazar said that he used to work there. Bob Lazar uh, gave evidence after evidence to prove that he worked there. Exactly. They tried to make this guy sound like he, like he, uh, uh, fabricated like, yeah, like he yeah. fabricated the damn story. And they're like, oh, he never worked at this place, a certain area that they say he was supposed to have worked in. Then they find, uh, even the job said that, oh, nah, this guy's lying. Then they found a registry with his name on it for, for working there. You know what I mean? Like, they say, oh, they got at least cover their tracks, bro. Like, they, they said the man wasn't a physicist or whatever the deal is, right? Then they find a newspaper clipping with a picture of him and that states that he's a physicist. Like, they say he didn't go to the college that he went to. They end up finding a class registry for that and he was in the school. Like, that alone made me go, okay, this man used to work for y'all because nobody goes this hard to cover up somebody's employment and school history if the person didn't work there. So me, I believe that they do have ships there, they do have things there, and that's why uh, people's curiosity about raiding it um, start really is sparking up so much. Um, and I would never get, if you're hiding something like that from me, why would all of a sudden you want to help me? Yeah, you know, it's ending, hop on. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. That looks scary to me, that looks suspicious. That's what I'm saying, like, the, 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 the idea that they hide everything from you, but finally, for some reason, they're trying to help you is the most crazy thing ever. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna help you, bro. Like, I, the reason why I know that there's stuff in Area 51 that they hide from us is because if you look at how technology spiked over like a 20, 30 year span, from like, you know, 1970s to like right now, like our technology skyrocketed, man. We used to have like TV shows and dreams about, you know, holograms and, and talking to people on phones, all kinds of stuff. And now it's all reality. So I think that this was all stuff that they got, you know what I'm saying, in Area 51 that already knew about, but just they wanted to like spoon feed us. Like I think there's still more technology that they have that they can use oh, to help definitely. us, but they just spoon feed us it. You know what I'm saying? They give it to us little by little so they can always be ahead. Like they even Kanye West, um, I'm sorry, not Kanye West, um, I think it was uh, one of the rappers on the Kanye West said, guys, y'all have the iPhone 8 now. Kanye had that just like five, six years ago. So it just shows that we get stuff later than everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because we're commoners, you know what I'm saying? The celebrities probably already found on jets and, and, and spaceships right now, but we don't know about it, you know what I'm saying? Because they get everything before us. I can't trust a single thing they say because they've been proven to lie over and over and over again. And they stay getting caught. Like, if, if, so, if somebody lies to me once and I catch them and they, and, and they just stop, I'm like, okay, cool, that's, that's one time, you feel me? But to consistently lie to me all the time, like, you gotta realize how many lies, especially with the whole uh, uh, people seeing things in the sky situation, right? 
They done, do you know how many lies they done went through? They went through weather balloons. They went through swamp gas. They went, they went to say Venus. Oh, it's Venus in the sky. They See, well, like, Venus is moving. They Venus like is we're dumb. They Venus. ain't like we're dumb. They, it's, it's like, they don't, their, their excuses are not even like valid. Like, yeah. yeah. Weather balloons? Yeah. Like, no weather balloon moves like this. We just yeah. see weather balloons move, bro. Yeah. You can't be like, oh, Venus in the sky. Bro, like. Yeah. Venus. So I remember there was a phone call where somebody goes, oh, there's something in my sky. They say, oh, you're looking at Venus. And the person was like, well, Venus is leaving. Like, well, yes. You see, when you tell somebody looking at Venus, Venus just busts a left hand turn, started dipping, split into three, and people are like, yo, I'm seeing this thing. I think that's one of the reasons why, you know, we hear so much about, you know, stuff in the sky now, and it's on the news, it's, yeah, it's on exactly. the mainstream. It's because so many people have, have started seeing things and recording things, they're starting to become, you know, kind of obvious. And that's why I think Na a lot of people don't trust NASA, because NASA say they've never seen anything, but everybody on Earth sees seen something. Remember that uh, thing that happened in California? Like, mind you, these, these things in the sky are getting way more blatant. Like, yeah. Before it used to be like, uh, maybe here or there. Now it's like, we're going to show y'all where we at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, definitely. remember the whole thing in California where everybody in California, all these Chris Brown, uh, uh, Instagram stars, all of them like, hey, look at this thing in the sky. And they're like, oh, well, that's, that's Elon Musk's new uh, rocket ship. No, it wasn't, bro. No, it wasn't. Like, <laughs> and, like even Chris Brown's like, don't believe what they tell you. Like, a celebrity is something not to believe you. You know what I'm saying? So why should I believe you? At the end of the day, we know that they lie consistently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They try to control all the narratives. They try to control the information that we get. And that's part of the biggest reason why they want to um, you know, police the internet now. Because the internet is giving us so much information that they don't want out. Like, you know, Elliot, um, um, Julian Solange and WikiLeaks and all that stuff. You know, Elliot, um, uh, Eric Snowden. You know what I'm saying? All these leaks that are coming from their organizations you know what I'm saying? Obviously, Bob Lazar. Yeah. All these things that come in from the organizations that they want to cover up, but they can't because once it hits the internet, it's viral. You know what I mean? It goes everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can't control it. So now they're trying to police the internet so they can stop that. You know what I'm saying? And now we also see all the policing of, um, you know what I'm saying, any alternative thing in pages. You know what I'm saying? On, on social media or on YouTube or anything like that. Even, even uh, the United States Navy had to admit that they were chasing things in the sky that they couldn't keep up with. And then, because because they the videos had already leaked, Pe most people in the community had already seen the, the videos of them chasing those balls of lights or, or weird cylinder things that were turning sideways. So, like, it, it, it's, it's gotten to the point where we already knew and they were like, damn, it, I felt like it forced their hands where they're like, oh yeah, we're creating a new policy where pilots can, you know, now tell us, you know, what they saw and not be ridiculed. Like, it, we didn't care about your ridicule. <laughs> we already knew. Like, we're not done. I could stand outside with my mom and see that. Like, you know what I mean? So, here's my question, right? Because obviously, you know, we, we both said that we wouldn't be on those ships. Those yeah, ships yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. So what would you do? So my question is, because obviously let's say the world is in it, right? They're, they actually tell the truth one time, the world is in it, you know what I'm saying? And we are finding a way to get off this planet. I'ma be real what with you, do? unless some nice some nice alien comes down and scoop me, I'm going down with the planet. I came on this. You're going down with the planet. I'm going down with the planet. I came on this, I'll go wow, with this. Wow. Unless something else comes help me That's out, the... because I don't trust them to that point. It's to that point where I would not get on a ship with them. If it's only them trying to help me out, I ain't rolling with you, bro. So okay. because you're gonna end up on on Mars doing heavy lifting. They're gonna have y'all in slavery. They're gonna have y'all in some chains. They're gonna be beating y'all. Y'all gonna be like, how could we, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, I don't okay, trust okay, them, bro. So you so you ride with the planet. So I'm you? riding with the planet. Oh um, Earth all day, baby. <laughs> yeah. So you ride with the planet. What do you mean by some nice aliens? How do you know alien is nice? Hey man, I'll be honest with you. You can feel the vibration of somebody if they evil. You can feel the energy. If you can't feel people's energy, if you can't feel people's vibe, you, you're in a tough spot. You have to take a guess. I'm not taking a guess. You could tell a benevolent being from a benevolent being. You know what I'm saying? Uh, some just have an evil aura around them. And you, you can feel that when you're around um, uh, certain politicians. Definitely. You get close and you feel something slimy about him. You feel like, damn, something's messed up. I feel like that about some people in management sometimes. You know oh, yeah, I mean? definitely. Like, definitely. I, like some, a, a certain manager gets around me and I'm like, the hell? Like, you can feel that. It, yeah. That, that like, they're like, power and they'll do yeah. anything it's possible to get to where they want to go. And, um, you know, I think that's part. But see, I think this is on a whole other level because 
what America does and what the world does, they want you to be distrustful of everyone around you. Yeah. That way you will not be able to read the words. Because every, since you distrust everyone, you won't get close to anyone. And since they make you believe in their, in their government and that the government will help you when you need it, that's how they trick everybody, you know what I'm saying? Because they keep you away from all everybody near you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hear from you know a lot of island people that the way they, they are in the islands and where they are in America are totally different. They say in the islands, you can go out to your neighbor and be like, hey, let's eat mangoes under the uh, tree. And they, they'll sit there and have a conversation with you and you'll eat. You know what I'm saying? But in America, if I, I bet you bet you can live with your neighbor 20 years and not know who they are. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how they are, you feel me? So I think I definitely agree, you know what I'm saying? You can feel somebody's negative energy or negative aura, you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't think that is it, you just feel something wrong or off about that person. Yeah. But I think because they make you fearful of everyone, I think a lot of people will be caught in that trap. Well, I, to be honest with you, I think this is how they're going to get everybody, if they want to get everybody like that. They'll simply introduce celebrities. If Beyonce is on a ship and Beyonce say, hey, everybody, come on. The Beehive guy. The Beehive guy. The Beehive guy. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? They going to run to that, to that ship. You feel me? Like they gonna be on there. They gonna be like all the single ladies, all the single ladies on the ship. You you wanna get all all all, all the all the uh, all the uh, uh, emo ish new age kids? Throw a little Uzi on the commercial. Uzi gonna be on that thing. Yeah, Uzi gonna have a lit concert. Everybody on there. You feel me? <laughs> hey, that's the best way to get them, bro. But yeah, uh, throw throw Obama or Michelle Obama on there. You know how many black people they'll reel in? Oh. <laughs> They'll reel in so many black people. They'll be like, hey man, I'm going. I don't care what you're talking about. Bro, is it? A lot of people want to die. Yeah, lot, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, everybody, everybody, everybody be dire and be enslaved because I think the government's going to really be like, okay. That, that's, that's like you said, that's the best move. You know? Yeah, Get yeah. All the celebrities, the social media people, all that stuff, and be like, hey, the these influencers, guys on the ship. The influencers, you know, get these guys on the ship, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but to me, I don't really believe uh, they can be trusted on any level. So any earth ending uh, situation, I'd have to see some type of evidence that it looks bad. Like, don't get me wrong, if a volcano pops up in South Florida, I'll be like, damn, that's a volcano in South Florida. You know what I mean? If, if you know what I'm saying? I, I, if, if water done washed all the way up into Wyoming, like we, we out here drowning, like, okay, uh, you, might be, you might be right. I'm not rolling with you. But you, you right? Yeah, I'm not like, with the planet. Yeah, I'm right not with the planet. <laughs> there ain't no way I'm gonna go like that. You feel me? I feel you. I, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes it's better to go down with the ship than yeah, join another ship and that. be enslaved. What What did uh, 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 Killmonger say? You know what I'm saying? Bury me in the uh, what was it? Bury me in the sea? No, uh, Killmonger. Killmonger. What did he say? He said something about um, bury me in the ocean with my ancestors. ancestors. I knew it was uh, death is better than bondage. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely that. Definitely. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you never miss a video. And check out my boy. L Camera TV. You know I got the uh, camera on the videos and the skip videos. Check me out. Till next time.